Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Poe and welcome back to the new video. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Poya Sack. Hello, welcome. If you're already a subscriber and a follower of mine, hello bro, hello sis, how are you doing today? For this video, I'm finally coming back for the second time on my channel with a skincare routine, what I do for my skin during the daytime and at nighttime and for different things. So if you would like to see what I do for my skin and how I get it to this, I'm really crusty right now, but if you would like to see my general skincare routine, stay tuned and we'll get right into it. So the reason why I decided to come on camera today as my natural self but even crustier is because I just came back from the gym. I want to say that I have posted a skincare routine on my channel before and that was from two years ago. You can go down. I'll post a link up here. I do like that video because at the time I was living with my parents so I had a bathroom. For this video, I won't be able to do like the whole bathroom aesthetic. The bathroom that I have right now, it's just super small. Um, we're moving so but I just wanted to do a skincare routine because I feel like it's been a minute and regardless of if I can wash my face on camera or not, I feel like we can still make it work. First things first, I want to just let you guys know about my skin because these are important factors to know about while I'm showing you the products that I will be showing you and featuring in this video again everything is going to be labeled throughout the video and if anything is missing everything is going to be um listed in the description box below just so that you guys know exactly what i'm using and the name so that you can refer back to this if you ever need to my skin i have oily skin i feel like i have oily to normal so this gets super oily nose um right here not really there but you know sometimes at night if i put my hand up on my and up on my forehead a lot of grease like i don't i don't get it but i'm just like oily in those areas used to deal with a lot of acne obviously when i was a teenager and it was really bad but i got out of it and i feel like my skin has been doing really well since i guess the end of college i did recently go see an esthetician who let me know who's like certified and everything and she had her whole office and her whole studio and she's been doing um esthetician work for like over a decade so i really did trust her and everything she was just telling me she was just debunking a lot of myths and debunking a lot of information that i was relying on because during the pandemic i will be honest i was really following a lot of like online estheticians but everyone's skin is different everybody's story is different so i needed to go see like you know one-on-one -on -one. she said that my skin was doing really well like you know she was telling me that she thinks my skin was beautiful and all this stuff and especially for like my job that it's at a good point so i feel like after i got that um message it's okay for me to kind of come on here and share what i use and how i get to this i do want to be honest i have been dealing with a lot of stress lately and i had like my menstrual cycle and every time i have my period i get like a blemish so this was from i feel like this was from a month and something ago this was a pimple and you know like i always try to like pop them and sometimes they're not ready but i just try to pop them and all that stuff so it left like an acne mark and i'm learning how to not cause acne scars but like i'm a picker and i'm a popper i love popping my pimples but this is going down slowly like the the discoloration like the pigmentation it's going down over time i've just been getting stuff and oh my goodness this side especially this was a little one here i'm just i'm so angry <laughs> But I do when I'm stressed I get a lot of breakouts on my jawline and Sometimes on my chin Those breakouts are very weird. They're not like your average 
you know you see a little bit of pus and you can pop it and then like it heals whatever these ones are like the pimples that are underneath they take forever to come out and then but then they hurt at the same time and you're just like is it ready or is it not and like i said i'm a popper so whatever but yeah and this one as you can see it's really dark um it almost looks like a burn like my man when my partner looked at it he was like it looks like you were almost burnt and i was like no it's a pimple that's like inside and it didn't like come out there was no pus or anything and when i tried to like you know squeeze it nothing came out it just hurt and now it's just like this black scabbish whatever but yeah i have like acne scars here and this is very recent like all of these that I have on my face just started to happen um, or show up and cause all of this in the past two months so I feel like before two months I didn't have all of this and it was just a really nice time but I've had these problems before and you know even during the pandemic two years ago i used to have darker marks but they faded away because i've used the products that i'm gonna tell you guys about and yeah let me just get into this so that i don't talk too much cleanse my face in the morning which is the first thing that i do in my skincare is to cleanse i go in with the good molecules clarify and cleanse bar molecules is now available at ulta i don't think all their products are at ulta but like the well-known famous products are there, so that's pretty nice. And they're super affordable. Just finished one bar, and that took, for somebody who washes their face two to three times a day, that took a good month and a half to finish. Targets, breakouts, clog pores, irritation, and back knee. So you can use this for your body. And it says it's great for combination to oily. Now, oily, it's really important if you have oily skin because you want to make sure that you're using the best cleansers to really get rid of any oil and all that stuff that you're grabbing onto throughout the day as you're going outside or even if you're at home just making sure that you're unclogging your pores you know what i mean for the day but i have realized that when you try to use things that are super abrasive or really harsh in the chemicals that it can damage your skin rather than cleanse one eternity later hey guys i'm back as you can see i changed i actually went and showered because i didn't feel like staying in that sticky sweaty state that i was in i did go in with the good molecules cleansing bar as i said and then i did go in with the good molecules exfoliating powder in the shower so for each product i was massaging that in my face for a good minute just to make it like work into the skin and cleanse and my face feels cleansed but it doesn't feel dry and stripped usually i would go in with the neutrogena rapid clear two in one fight and fade toner i do usually use this during the day at night i go in with my good molecules brightening toner this is an am to pm toner i'm gonna go ahead and use the good molecules brightening toner so for toners back in the day i used to just put them on cotton pads but now I just go in straight with my hands and then I just rub it a little bit so that you know it's all in there and then I pat it in my face. Next, I'm going in with the Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Serum and I really love this product. I've been using this for a little bit over a year. It's probably my fifth bottle. And again, this is really good for your acne scars. It's gonna take time because it's all natural products. They're vegan, cruelty free and all that. I really focus this product in the jawline where I have those acne scars right here, where I have that scar. Um, next two products I usually go in with is the Good Molecules Daily Brightening Serum and the Good Molecules Super Peptide Serum. For now, I, I rotate between the two after using that co correcting serum. So I'm just going to go in with the su Super Peptide Serum. Sorry, can't talk. 
Okay, so during the day, if I know that I'm going outside and all of that, I would go in with SPF. This is the Black Girl Sunscreen, and this is an SPF 30. I've been using this since the pandemic, ever since I found out there was even a sunscreen for a targeted, branded, for the black woman, black man. So I really love this sunscreen. That doesn't necessarily mean that just because you're not black, you can't buy this product. You just go in with sunscreen alone. Like I don't really need a moisturizer. So that basically concludes my daytime skincare routine. The only thing that changed, and I'm gonna show you guys for the nighttime routine, is that I just don't put the SPF. Like I said, I go between these two products after applying the discolorecting serum usually at night i do cleanse my skin the same way sometimes i'll add another cleanser like this cerave renewing sa cleanser i will add this step if i'm like taking off makeup or if it's just nighttime and i've been outside all day and like a lot of the oil and all the stuff are on my face it just came to my door um today because i did order it and it is the paula's choice boost the reason why i know about this product is because i used this product during the pandemic um in 2020 when i was really experiencing breakouts and stuff at home i don't know what was going on but i started using this and it did help so i'm gonna be restarting with my journey with this product applying it at night only and applying that especially in the areas where i want to get rid of the acne scars and stuff i would go in with this and any other serum that i feel like i need to go in with and then i do put moisturizer at night i either go in with one of these two out this um travel size origins oil free energizing boosting gel moisturizer i do really like this it smells really nice it smells like there's vitamin c oil free so it's like more of a gel and it really does moisturize and i i do like it Not, nothing crazy happened to my face self discover the carbon theory brand carbon theory vitamin e and tea tree oil breakout control facial moisturizer and again they have all these products or these ingredients inside that are made to tackle and heal and help rejuvenate your skin after like a, an acne mark now on a weekly basis i do go in with a mask just to clear really unclog those pores really open up and suck out anything that's on my face this is the carbon theory charcoal and tea tree oil breakout control facial exfoliating scrub and this is with citric acid it detoxifies and clears your pores and balances and brighten and that's what i do need on a weekly basis just to get rid of buildup so i've been liking it so far i i like the tea tree feel i like that you know charcoal the ingredient of charcoal helps like take out number one mask literally ever since i was a teenager so if you have oily skin or you have buildup this is a great mask to use on a weekly basis i really i mean i really love this mask i've been using it for such a long time like over a decade that it's like yeah the same days that i do my mask I will go in with She Mask. It is a brand that I got from Marshalls and it's been, you know, it's been doing the mask thing, but I really do love She Masks in general. They are very effective and they have products that are going to be helpful in there. And I just I love She Mask. I just love the way they make me feel. It's like putting my legs up and just relaxing after a long day. Ah hope again that you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was informative i hope it was helpful in some way um as i said everyone's skincare routine is not going to be specifically like for you the viewer it's for me i have oily skin but maybe your oily skin is different maybe your oily skin is not as bad as mine or maybe it's a, it's a little bit worse where you need to go see things that might be a little bit more effective rather than you wasting your time and seeing you know i guess causing more damage than healing 
So again, that's why I go to an esthetician. That was my skincare routine for daytime and nighttime. If you enjoyed this video, again, please leave a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share. And if you have any suggestions for future videos you want to see, please leave that in the comments down below as well. But other than that, this is the end of the video. Until the next video that I'll be posting, I hope you guys stay safe. And until then, stay blessed.